Hi guys. So I've been out and about on my travels. Now in this video I've been to two disused places. One of them is a disused place I actually go quite a lot and the other one's a disused place I haven't been to for years. But I'm going to explain the difference between they're, these are disused but not completely unused. So one of them is Folkestone Racecourse, the other is Manson Airport which is local to me. So we're going to start with Folkestone Racecourse. Folkestone Racecourse is in a place called West Hanger. It's sort of outside Folkestone. It's not as close to Folkestone as you'd think. And it's on the site of a, well, an estate that was part of the West Hanger Castle estate, which is actually owned by King Canute way, way back in 1035. The racecourse first opened in 1898 and it raced all the way through right up until 2012. So it was on the racing calendar along with other, other courses, a proper course with stadium stands, the lot part of the normal race calendar but in 2012 it closed and it hasn't opened since it's been disused so there are still bits there there's still the stadiums the stands um, a few bits out on the course although no actual course is laid out although you can see it from google maps if you look and there's none of the railings or anything left there anymore so it's quite a large site which you would have thought they could have done something else with there was a planning application in 2016 to build 8,500 houses on it. Now, nothing's happened since. We're already in 2024. There was a new application, I think, in 2023 that was to phase this build of houses in over the next 30 years, which seems a bit excessive, 30 years. But as yet, it's unused, which is a bit odd because it's actually got its own railway station. There's a West Hanger railway station right next to the course. Obviously, it was built there purposely for the course because of the course being so busy and people needed to get there. And the only road was sort of the M20 and stuff like that. So it's easy to get by train, which is why it has its own railway station. Um, at the moment, again, pretty much it's used. I think you can get off at West Hanger, but I don't know if it stops there that often. There's a very small building. The strange thing about the railway station is it's actually got two lines going through it. So you've got the normal line, which is for your normal domestic trains, but you've also got the high speed line going through for the Eurotunnel, which is where you get the Eurostar going through to Brussels and Paris and so on. So there's a double line there, but it looks pretty disused, to be honest with you. Now, the strange thing with the course is, obviously, it's a large area. It takes up a massive area. It could be put to some good use. Now, obviously, during the Second World War, it was used for an airfield for a little while because it's got a nice long straight. But other than that, since 2012, I have no need for it. And it's a bit odd. They could do something there, at least. Events of some sort, parties or, you know, outdoor events, concerts, something. Anything could be done there because there's a lot of space to do it. But for some reason, it's just remained disused and therefore unused. Now, moving on to Manston Airport, slightly different story, but still a disused airport and sort of a similar sort of timeline. Manston Airport was first formed in 1918 and this closed in 2014. So it closed two years after the race course, but it's not as disused as Folkestone is. So Manston's a disused airport, there's no planes flying from it. But people have been using it for a lot of things. And you've seen that in my videos. You've seen me doing car shows from there for classic cars. There's the supercar shows. There's boot fairs once a month. There's other events going on, all sorts of events all the time, which are mainly arranged by the RF Museum. They seem to be quite active in putting a lot of stuff on on the airport as much as they can. Recently, they had the Targo race, which I also showed you as well a little bit when I was flying over. Last weekend, they had a tracks and trucks event. This weekend, they've got a drag strip being opened up on the airport. So the airport's going to have a drag strip running along it for a weekend. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get to that because I'm working, as was tonight. Tonight, I was working and it was the classic car show, which I normally go and take pictures of. But I was working and, as you can see, um, there was a certain England match on, which sort of... It wouldn't have, I would have missed the car show anyway, so I went home and watched the rest of the England match. But there's a lot going on, lots of stuff. Now, how long it's going to last, we don't know, because the airport is owned by a company called River Oak, and River Oak have now finally got permission to reopen it as a cargo airport, maybe passengers at some point in the future. So that's going to happen in probably a couple of years or so, they reckon. Maybe by 2026, we'll see the first flights out of it. That will restrict the amount of stuff that's going on from the museum. The museum uses the tarmac. It also uses parts of the ground and sort of parking bays, that sort of stuff. So those sort of things won't be available to them when there's planes there. Obviously, the museum's going to still be there because the museum's in the corner. Got plenty of room for that. That will stay there forever in a day. 
So as I've said, I've shown you videos before where I've been there. I'll link them down below. So sort of things like the boot fairs and the supercar shows and the classic car shows, that sort of stuff. So it's nice that all that stuff can go ahead. As I said, probably up until about 2026, then things will change a bit. But then it'll be great to have it open as an airport again, because it's what it's designed for. And saying that, one of the things I featured again recently, which I didn't actually get to see because I was working, was a flying. They had 300 Nord Light aircraft flying to the airport for a little sort of meet, greet, get together thing, which is quite unusual for planes, but it's quite nice. And also recently, and one of the reasons for doing this video, was they had a paramotor championship recently, which was the British paramotor championship and another championship together. Paramotor, if you haven't heard of it, it's been quite famous for many things, like the guy that I think landed in one of the domes in America, for, it was either the Olympics or Super Bowl, something like that, a guy, well actually it was last Super Bowl, I think, a guy had a paramotor and got caught up in the wires. A paramotor is like basically a rucksack with a big motor and a propeller on it and a fuel tank. So basically you have this thing strapped over you, you have a big propeller on the back, so then you also have a parachute, and with the parachute you pull down and basically you fly with the motor providing power and the parachute providing lift. And they had like a competition where they was going around like a circuit. I don't quite know how you won it, if it was a race or if it was just air time or flight details or some sort of stunts or something. I don't quite know what they were doing, but it looked quite interesting. They built a little village with tents and motorhomes and things. They had a little landing spot. They had the course laid out. There was a winner's enclosure. So it's all done very well and very interesting. And again, it's those sort of things that just, you know, Folkestone has the space to do things like that. It could host all sorts of those sorts of events because there's lots of grass area and lots of places you could take off with like aircraft or paramotors or whatever. Anything that's based on grass, you could do fantastic. They could even do the boot fairs there if you wanted to, but it seems strange that it's not doing anything. Whereas here at the airport, they're doing loads. So it's not always a case that disused is unused. And in this case, the airport is very much used. Thank you.